Okay, we're going to do our radiant energy test number t number three. We're actually going to, I uh, wanted to show that there is a closed loop system here. I have two 24 volt or two 12 volt battery systems here uh, that's actually working with a, a particular proprietary radiant energy device that I have here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do an ultra high frequency test here at over 1800 volts, high frequency radiant energy. Now this is a micro current. We're actually pulling out about 200 milliamps at approximately 1800 to 1900 volts fluctuating. Now all we have here is just actual, this is just water, nothing else. Now I'm using tungsten because of the heat reaction. These are eighth inch tungsten rods and my secondary electrode is going to be the same. It's an, 18, uh, an eighth inch gauge you know, tungsten. These uh, have a melting point at about 6,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to watch an incredible reaction. So if we uh, look at both, you'll actually see both, both uh, rods. You will see instantaneous hydrogen coming off of the secondary rod or the, or the uh, connecting rod. And then our, the one that we immerse will have a, a secondary reaction, which is going to be an instantaneous flash off of hydrogen. Immediate separation. Now this immediately will go into a combustion and start to uh, generate heat right away, but we're going to show you a very unique phenomenon here, which is actually sustainable. And I'm kind of excited to bring this forward. So I'm going to power us up here. Give me one second. It's going to be a little loud. Now look at the meter. We're generating 1800 volts of high frequency radiant energy. As you can see, I'm just using a test lead wire. Nothing fancy, this is all the standard test leads from Radio Shack. Now we're going to immerse our rod into the water. As you can see, the tungsten immediately comes up to very high, high temperatures. Now we can pull back and we can be out of the water and keep an instantaneous reaction. And then we go back, but once we have a certain heat exchange, or a heat temperature rise, we are actually in a vaporous state. Now I am no longer on, immersed in the water whatsoever. As you can see, I can go up and down. And we can keep this, this uh, reaction continual. And the deeper I get, the hotter the reaction will be. Watch this tungsten rod. We're heating the tungsten rod with water up to a very high state within seconds. See it's glowing, and the, and the discharge actually becomes brighter. Now, when I immerse into the hydrogen reaction, so as you see, we're getting energy in many ways. Again, it's just a tungsten rod. Immerse 